Well, good morning, my friends. It is so good to see you as we celebrate Easter. Happy Easter. He is risen. We say he is risen indeed. Alleluia. Well, we're going to have a special Easter chapel this morning, and so we're glad that you could watch uh, with us from whatever screen you're watching at home. And so we'd invite you to stand up and get a little closer to your screen where you're at and to worship with us this morning and celebrate Easter that Jesus rose. So just like we do when we're here in God's house and gathered together, we open by opening in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, all right? And so when we do our pledges, we're going to take our right hand right here, this one right here. We're going to put it on our heart and look at our American flag, and we say, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, keep that right hand on our heart. We're going to turn this way to our Christian flag with a cross on it. And we say, I pledge allegiance to the cross of my Lord Jesus Christ and to the faith for which it stands, one Savior, King Eternal, with mercy and grace for all. All right, well, since we celebrate Easter, I think we're going to start by singing this morning. And we're going to sing... Praise him in the morning, noon, and night. So if you guys all sing with me, we'll do that right now. Praise him, praise him, praise him in the morning, praise him at the noontime. Praise him, praise him, praise him when the sun goes down. Can we serve him? Serve him, serve him. Serve him in the morning, serve him at the noontime. Serve him, serve him, serve him when the sun goes down. Can we thank him? Thank him, thank him, thank him in the morning, thank him at the noontime. Thank him, thank him, thank him when the sun goes down. Can we love him? Love him, love him, love him in the morning, love him at the noontime. Love him, love him, love him when the sun goes down. All right, great job. Thanks for singing with me this morning. And uh, for our message this Easter chapel, we have a special guest. So I hang tight and we'll have a special guest for our Easter message. Hello, my friends. It's, it's Pastor Mark. I, I've missed seeing you all in God's house here, but really excited to share with you a little bit of the Easter story. So I want to read the Easter story to you from our Bible. Uh, so you might want to come up a little closer to your screen so you can kind of see. Uh, I don't want to try to read this over the camera to you, but it's the story uh, of Jesus rising from the dead, and it's an exciting story. So it says, after Jesus died, some of his friends laid his body in a big tomb. They sealed it shut with a large round stone. The soldiers guarded the tomb. Can you guys see the picture there? Do you see the big stone? Do you see the sh sh soldiers guarding it? Do you, do you think anybody could get in there and find Jesus? I don't. Let's continue. But three days later, the earth shook and an angel of the Lord came down from heaven and pushed the stone away from the tomb. Then the angel sat on the stone. Do you guys see the angel in the bright white clothes? It says, when the soldiers saw the angels, they, they fell to the ground. The soldiers are, are going away. Mary was walking to the tomb with some of her friends. They saw the angel who said, do not be afraid. Jesus is, in his, is not here. He is risen. Go tell the disciples and Peter that Jesus is alive. And on their way, the women saw Jesus. They fell on their knees and they worshiped. And Jesus smiled and said, go tell the others, I will see them in Galilee. 
So Mary ran to tell the other disciples. That's such an exciting story. They thought they had lost Jesus. They, they thought he was dead. But Jesus, he was alive. And, and then they, they ran, right? They ran to tell everybody else because they were so excited that Jesus was alive. They wanted to make a joyful noise and let everybody know that. You know, the Bible also tells us, as, as you all just sang with Miss Abby, we praise the Lord in Psalm 150. It says, praise the Lord, praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty heavens. Praise him for his acts of power. Praise him for his surpassing greatness. Praise him with the sounding of a trumpet. Praise him with the harp and the lyre. Praise him with the tambourine and dancing. Praise him with the strings and the flute. Praise him with the clash of cymbals. Praise him with resounding cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. We praise God for what he's done. So I don't know if you guys have any toys in your house that, that make noise. May, maybe you could even just get a pot or a pan and, and bang on it. But I want you to find maybe, maybe a toy, a, a little trumpet. We have this, at, this is my daughter's toy. And a, we can praise that Jesus is alive. And, and I found these here at church. A tambourine and, and some bells. And we, we praise, right? We, we praise and we blow our horns. Well, that was kind of a weak horn, but you, you get the picture. We, we make noise, right? And we praise him because Jesus is alive. So find those tambourines and those trumpets and, and, and shake them. And praise God because Jesus is alive. And we praise God on this Easter week. All right, go ahead and set your pots and pans down or your instruments down, and let's go ahead and, and say a prayer together. Would you guys repeat after me? Let's bow our heads and pray. Dear Jesus, Dear Jesus we, praise you we praise you because you rose from the dead. Because you rose from the dead. Help me. Help me. Make a joyful noise. Make a joyful noise. And sing, praise, and sing praise, for you are good. For you are good. We pray this in your name. We pray this in your name. Amen. Amen. And we'll say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Well, Miss Abby's going to sing one last song with us. So we'll go ahead and invite Miss Abby uh, back on up to sing with us. Well, that was a great message about Easter joy, wasn't it? And good to see Pastor again, too. So this morning, I want you to stand up right where you're at, and we're going to praise Jesus for being, uh, being raised, for the fact that he is risen. So we're going to sing our I Am the Resurrection song. So you need your hands to clap for this one. So are we ready? It goes like this. I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will never die. I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will live a new life. I have come to bring the truth. I have come to show the way. If you, yes, you believe I do, then you shall live. I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will never die. I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will live a new life. 
All right, thanks for singing with me this morning as we celebrate Easter and celebrate the joy and make loud noise over all that Jesus has done for us. So we say, Christ is risen. He, he is, is risen, risen indeed. indeed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Have a great day, my friends.